Terry from D-Lab, and here in my hand I have the XCU 100. It's a 100 kilohertz crystal calibrator designed for a national 183D receiver. Now, as you know, the 183D did not come with a calibrator, and National never offered that accessory. So I feel as there, there was a need to have the device. I've created it. it fits in the radio like it was made for it. Take a look at this video and see what you think. So here's the details of the D-Lab XCU100 calibrator. It runs a 6AK6 tube and I've mounted it in a vintage socket also utilizing a vintage uh, 100 kilohertz crystal and this is a Johnson little capacitor for tuning it. Bottom side you got an 8 pin octal connector which will plug right into the NC173. Pop it open you can see the construction. Very basic, point to point wired, very reliable. There should be any components underneath that you ever have to fool with. Pretty much uh, the maintenance would involve the tube and possibly your crystal. Installation of the uh, crystal calibrator is a breeze. It simply plugs into the accessory socket. This calibrator is keyed, so it'll go right in there like it was intended to be there in the first place. And if you're off a little bit, you can actually turn this calibrator because the socket on the bottom isn't put in with screws. It has the little uh, clip on there. So it allows you to fine adjust the calibrator into position. Okay, so here's the bottom of the accessory socket. And you gotta do some slight modifications here. There was a ground wire going between uh, pin 6 and pin 2. You're going to cut that ground wire. You're going to leave it on 6. Pin 2 now becomes your antenna output lead. And that's going to go around. You're going to solder that to the antenna terminal. And then you see this fancy two conductor wire. And that's going to go from the B+, plus, which used to go to pin 8. Okay, So you have these red wires. You're going to put them into one lead of the two conductor wire and the other lead goes right back to pin 8. Okay, You swing around here. If you look at the back of the radio phono switch, that's where the two conductor wire goes. You're going to use half of that switch to turn on and off the B plus, to turn on and off your calibrator. And if that's confusing, I'll provide you some real easy documentation so you can do it yourself. So to keep the installation really basic, I'm using the accessory socket in the radio. Okay. Now, if you were to have accessories plugged in that socket, well, guess what? You can't use my calibrator, right? But this guy plugs right in here, like it was made for it, okay? And then, to activate it, came around front side, and National had this phono radio switch, which was absolutely useless, and I'm sure you're not playing your record player through your 183. So, I elected to use this switch. Now, radio everything's normal, in phono, that's going to turn on the calibrator. Let me show you how that works. All right, for example, here we are in 80 meters. Okay, so let's say you want to be lined up at 3.9 megahertz. So you have to set your main tuning to this little circle that has the 80. Okay, and hope you're close. With the calibrator, you can set your dial 3.9. Take your main tuning, zero beat it. You're on frequency. All right, so here we'll check the calibrator against WWV. We're at 15 megahertz. I'm going for the set mark on the band spread. Well, there you have it. 
Another fine little gadget by D Lab Electronics. If you're interested in it, drop me a line. 73.